uh, where we reported the news yesterday, Bree, 11 coronavirus positives. Amongst recruits and, and officers. Uh, Major Ogden, I noticed you got your mask on this morning. Major? Yes. Yeah. So. I have people coming in. I have people coming in out of my office, so I wear it. Nice. That's good. Yeah. Safety first. Uh, tell us uh, about these eleven positives at DLC. I'm sorry, say again, Chris. Tell us about the positives at, at DLC. <laughs> nice headphones. Those are your daughters? I think, I think that's better if I put on right my on. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Tell us yeah. about the positives at DLC. <laughs> yes, they are his daughter's okay, headphones, so, guys. Uh, like the new... Yes. So, um, like the media really said, we have about we have 11 officers... Uh, five of them are recruits, and six of them are are uh, are full-time correction officers. Um, they within the last week or so, they uh, several of the uh, officers were already on personal leave, and they reported they were starting to experience flu-like symptoms. So they remained uh, they remained away from the compound, and eventually tested positive. And then throughout the week, uh, a few of our recruits started to experience uh, some illness. Uh, we have 15 recruits, and out of the 15, five of them are positive. We have about 10 of them, I believe, that are, or nine, give or take, that are on quarantine. We went ahead and secured them just as a precaution. And so they are on quarantine. A few of them are getting a test, um, not all of them. And so we're still waiting to hear back on those results from from those officers. Why why aren't they all getting tested? Well, some of them some of them are uh, some of them are not feeling symptoms at this point, but they're still on quarantine. Mm -hmm. And so we've been advised that you know if they get exposed to give it a, a couple of days, uh, you know, to see if the symptoms develop, because if they get tested like right away. They may they may get a negative, but turns out they do have it. Mm -hmm. But it takes a couple of days for the, the the virus to uh, sh appear to show itself. Do they all work on the same shift? Um, no, 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 ma'am. They uh, there were there were two different shifts. Spread no, out between shifts. All right, yeah. spread out between these officers. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Do they all work in the same um? I guess post unit. Uh. They've been assigned to perimeter. So a perimeter has about five different perimeter stations. Uh, so yeah, they were out there probably rotating between stations and things like that. I, I don't have all the exact details of their movement. Um, so what sort of contact did they have with uh, the inmates? So the recruits have no contact with the inmates. The recruits don't have contact with the inmates. They're, they're, they're kept on exterior posts. Um, the other officers, again, uh, about three of them were not even in contact with the inmate. They were already on personal leave for other, other, uh, you know, issues with their family. And, um, I think one of them that did have contact with the inmates, uh, this past Sunday, we tested 20 of those inmates and 10 of the officers that may have had to come, uh, in contact with the one officer that tested positive uh, while on post, and those results came back as negative. What about uh, you? You said inmates. What about inmates? How many of yeah, them we have tested? Twenty. Twenty. You, do you have the results? They're negative. All twenty are negative. Okay, that's good. Is anybody? Are there any other tests? Tests uh, pending. Test results pending. We, we have a few officers. I'm, uh, we're following up on a daily basis on, I have a few officers that are waiting for the results. Uh, some are not feeling any symptoms. We got a few that tested negative, but they're waiting out the 14 day period to return back to work. Cause they're required still to remain out for the full 14 days, even if they have a negative result. So how many total officers are, are, are out? 
are out? How many are out? Yeah, I mean, not not working whether they're in quarantine or or in isolation yeah. as a result of this. As of yesterday, okay, as of yesterday, I have 19 officers that are out on quarantine. So, like I said, some are waiting for their test results. Some have already tested negative. And plus the 11 officers that are out because they tested positive. So about 30, 30, a little over 30 officers. Okay, so are you, what are you having to do to, to cover down and to make up for this shortage in personnel? The, uh, we've made a few reassignments. The operations commander has made a few reassignments of personnel. Um, again, most of our uh, operations were already suspended. Mm -hmm. uh, several of those officers that tested positive were part of our sort team. And so most of our sort team members now, I think all of them actually are on quarantine. So we don't have that available at this time, but um, you know, again, uh, we're just making arrangements as best we can uh, to, to get through this situation. Some of these officers will be returning back next week. Mm. So little by little, they'll be coming, they'll be coming right back to work. How's the staff? Major, are they freaking out? Are you guys worried at all? Uh, yes. I mean, this is a serious situation. Uh, you, you see what's going on in the community, and, uh, you know, it's spiking out there in the community, and obviously it's starting to make its way to our employees here, and we're just, we're just uh, struggling, hoping that it does not affect the inmate population. Right. So right. we're continuing to do our part. Uh, we require all the officers to wear masks, we require the inmates to wear masks, of course, cleaning their areas. The 20 inmates that were tested uh, last Sunday, this past Sunday, they're also in quarantine at their housing unit. They're not mm. allowed to leave their housing unit. So all their work work assignments and detail that they do around the compound, uh, these are minimum security, but they're also been restricted to their housing unit, so they don't get to move and they gotta stay out. Even though they're negative, they gotta wait the 14 day period also. So yeah, again, we're just we're 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 doing the best we can and uh, you know adapting to whatever changing situation occurs. Right. So is that it with the inmate uh, and detainee testing? Are you planning as to do this, do more? As of no, as of this point, that's it for the testing, unless there's a need to. Um, the director is working. He wants to retest all the officers again to set up a project where we can do that. So they're working with public health on the best way to approach that so that, you know, the remaining staff again get tested. We've already been tested once uh, a few months back. So now we're looking at doing a, another second round of testing for the staff. Then we'll take it from there and, and see what we need to do for the inmate population. Can you just take us through again? Uh, wh where's the quarantine? Where's the isolation uh, facility over at DOC? Because you guys have uh, designated an area in the event. So, yeah. So in the event that there's positive, we have a, a quarantine unit called Post Seven. It's not being used at this time. It's closed down, but that is our plan to put them in that unit. Um, in the Ganya, we do have a block, uh, one of the blocks down there for new arrestees that come in are, are kind of quarantined in that section of the prison uh, for 14 days. They're checked daily with the medical staff. And then as they become clear, um, you know, we move them out. Uh, so those are the two quarantine areas that we have. Again, post seven is not being used, but in the event that we need to, it is equipped and ready to go and uh, to stand up if we need to. Just for clarification, quarantine or isolation? Or isolation, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Major. Anything else? I don't Is know. there anything Is else? There... Did anyone throw any meth over the, the fence again? Any officers get caught bringing in meth or chewing tobacco or weed or anything? No, if we did, they'll be arrested, so you'll know. Okay. Anything else we need to know, Major? I'm looking you in the eye. No, uh, we are, you know, despite what, you know, our, our, um, our challenges here, um, 
one of the things we want to do so that we can ease some of the tension that's going on here is we want to continue with our incoming. Uh, that's good. Uh, as, you, as you remember, we, we started that for one day and then we had to suspend it due to the, uh, the visitation staff that assigned there were, were quarantined. Yeah. They've all returned. None of them tested positive. They all came back. And so we want to move forward with uh, 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 personal hygiene incoming for the remainder of the population. And so we're going to start doing that next week, uh, one unit at a, at a time for different days in the week so that, again, they can get their some of their materials and uh, personal hygiene and some other things. And hopefully that will, you know, I mean, we I, I know it will. It will ease some of the tension that the prisoners are going through right. with this extended lockdown. So, again, we're, 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 we're still moving forward. We still have a prison to run. And so we can do it and we just have to take safety measures to get it done. All right, thank you, Anton. Okay. All right, you stay safe. Thank you. God right. bless you. Okay. Uh, there's also virtual sweet spaghetti, Major. I don't know, are you a sweet spaghetti guy? Trick or treat? Uh, a what? Do you like sweet spaghetti with hot dogs in it? Because that's what we have, virtual sweet spaghetti with hot dogs. Uh, um, I haven't really ate that, but, uh, you know, uh, I get, I, Sounds good. So, <laughs> go for it. There you go. All right. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Major. Okay. Thank yes, you. Uh, okay. It's nine ten. Uh, let's keep it in the K. We have news Zoom room. Uh, very fortunate to get a little bit of hospital administrator Lillian Posadas's time. Lillian, uh, we saw the record for COVID nineteen hospitalizations. I think it was set 